The International Space Station may be orbiting some 250 miles above the Earth, but Mark Vandehei says the war in Ukraine is very much on the minds of the Americans and Russians who live and work together. My Russian crewmates are dear friends. They will always be dear, dear friends. And uh, there's varying levels of discomfort for them as well about the situation. Um, but we had a job to do. Vanda High, who set an American record 355 days in orbit, returned last week on a Russian space capsule with Russian cosmonauts. Did you even bring up the situation in Ukraine or did you just wall that conversation off completely? I think some of my crewmates tried to uh, avoid it. I did bring it up with both my crewmates that I landed with. And really all I, I feel comfortable saying is, there is a variety of responses. Saying the Russians had a variety of responses is as much as Vanda High wants to say about their views. But when the head of the Russian space agency threatened to let the station fall to Earth, his own family became worried. Living it directly, I didn't have that sense of alarm, but my family, my extended family, is, were quite concerned. Now Russia is threatening to leave the space partnership altogether. Honestly, that cooperation. I think is essential to peaceful relationships in the future. Looking down from space, Van de Heij says he became emotional looking at Russia and Ukraine. He saw Russia lit up with lights while much of Ukraine was covered in darkness. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.